All right, so we are at the Starbucks. She's getting ready to count down to zero. She's at like, I don't know, I can't hear it, three, whatever. And wait for a second. Thank you. He's giving me some trouble because he wants to go and then we're going. Um, we're going to the first jump. There's a little ravine that we went down, which kind of threw him a little bit off balance because I wasn't prepared for it, which made him not want to jump this one, but um, I made him, so he did. And then we have a little bit of a gallop stretch to jump two. We're getting ready to make a right hand turn to jump number two, which is like a, I would say ramp, but like it doesn't drop off at the other side. It's like a triangle. I don't really know what it's called, but yeah, this. He gets a deep distance to it, but still jumps it. You really need to work on our distances on cross country. And then we have another very long gallop stretch to three. This course had a lot of very long gallop stretches for novice, and I don't know why, but yeah. And then three, actually it's a long gallop stretch to four, whatever. But he jumped this one well. He kind of lost his back end a little bit, which is why I said it's a bad canter, but other than that, it's pretty good. Switched our lead here, finally change. And then getting ready to go to four A and B. Got a little bit deep, but then jumped out really nicely. Then down this ravine, and then a long gallop stretch to five. I have no idea what I was looking at there. Still galloping, still going. And then a right hand turn to five and six, or it was, f yeah, five and six. Um, jumped in a little bit close, but then jumped out of it really nicely. And then here, I literally had to walk this course like three times because I couldn't figure out this course, and that's me missing seven almost. Making a sharp turn, and just, yeah, screwing everything up. But then he jumped seven really nicely, so. <laughs> Up here, I'm getting ready to remind him to just uh, make sure he's uh, aware of his feet because it is a ditch. He's perfectly fine with ditches, but um, I just didn't want him to not see it or something and fall in it because he's clumsy like that. But anyways, he jumped that line super perfectly. Just a little bit interesting here, all right? So he jumps into the water. I mean, jumps over this jump and then into the water very nicely. Almost falls in the water because he's a ditz. And then coming up to this little Noah's Ark jump, um, we body slam into it. Um, so that's great. He lost a boot and he also lost a shoe. I didn't know that, but we kept going. Yeah. Uh, he didn't have any scratches. He wasn't off, so I kept going. Didn't know he lost a boot. Didn't know he lost a shoe. But we kept going. Holy cow. He wasn't listening to my half halts, so he just like ran through me. And yeah. And then he jumped that one kind of long, but that's fine. And if you can tell, I'm already high key done with this um, cross country round because it's just, it's not going the greatest. Not at all. Jumps that one pretty well. I have to half halt the crap out of him because he's running. And then jumps that one awkwardly is a nice way to put it. Almost done, just two jumps left. 
if you look to the right those white jumps that was jump number one so we're right back to where you were he jumped that one well like the one jump of the whole course so you know there's that And then I yell heads up to this lady because I didn't think she saw me, but she did. So there's that. Then he jumps this one, super duper long, but gets over it, so oh, like, whatever. Boy. And then to the finish line. And it was a million degrees out, and we're both dying. Oh my God. That's why we've been doing a lot oh of conditioning boy. lately. Um, so just wait for it when I hop off. Just, just wait. Uh -huh. The idiot me forgot to unclip my air vest. So that's 25 bucks down the drain. Yep. I, I'm dying. If you can't tell. Oh boy. Really? Three, it rubbed, two, it kept rubbing him. One. Come on. Uh, it's going under the tree because it's hot. And boom. Yeah. Leave it to me to waste money uh, and there's his missing boot and um that the other foot is actually the one missing a shoe and then those two back boots are uh coming off so time to get electrical tape and there's me freaking out because i can't breathe so that was a wonderful experience it was just a phenomenal show not really it was really bad so there's that anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed me sucking as a horseback rider because, you know, that's, that's what I do. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye!